Hello, I'm Brent Baer, Managing Director of the Road Commission for Oakland County. Did you know that the Road Commission has the largest county road system in the state? Over 2,700 miles of county roads in Oakland County. That's second in size only to the state highway system. It's a lot of responsibility. So where do we get the money to take care of all those roads, maintain them, improve them? Well, not from property taxes. You won't find the Road Commission listed on a property tax statement. You'll find the county listed. The Road Commission is not part of the county. We get our funding for normal operations like snow plowing, grading, pothole filling, uh, resurfacing asphalt roads and so forth from something called the Michigan Transportation Fund. We get the funding directly from the state. That fund is made up of state collected gas tax, diesel tax, and vehicle registration fees. The gas tax and registration fees are the largest single sources. Michigan's gas tax is 19 cents a gallon. It's been 19 cents a gallon since October of 1997. It ranks 31st in the nation, well below the national average. With uh, the economy and unemployment, the revenues are down. People are driving less, consu consuming fewer gallons of gas, and they're not buying vehicles like they used to. In fact, our revenues now are 5% lower than they were 10 years ago. That's not good, but what's even worse is our increases in costs. They've been dramatic. For example, our salt trucks now cost 60% more than they did 10 years ago. Asphalt, over 80%. And salt and diesel fuel, about 140%. That means today we're spending almost two and a half times more on salt than we did 10 years ago. May not seem like much, but our budget for salt for the next winter is $4.3 million. That's a lot of money. If we have a normal winter, we'll go through all of that $4.3 million. And next spring, we'll have nothing to show for it. There won't be a single bridge repaired or a pothole filled or anything like that. It's just going to be gone. When you see your revenues go down and your costs go up dramatically, something's got to give. In our case, it's road work. We're not doing what we used to do, for example, resurfacing asphalt roads that are full of potholes. We've also had to reduce our staffing. We're down almost 100 employees from what we had in 2007. Many of those employees are truck drivers that will not be available in the winter to plow snow and salt ice. I mentioned that Michigan ranks 31st in the nation in its gas tax. Well, that means there are 30 other states with higher gas tax and maybe spending more money on roads. A good example is Ohio. Ohio has a gas tax 9 cents higher than Michigan. That's right, ours is 19 cents, Ohio's is 28 cents. And it's been that way for several years. Ohio's been doing a lot of work on their roads with that money. And if you drive down there, you'll find their roads in better condition than Michigan's. But I've heard from some people that uh, they've been to Ohio recently, and the prices of gas at the pump, are, they're less than Michigan. How can that be if Michigan has a 9 cent higher gas tax? The answer is a sales tax. Michigan is one of only seven states that applies its full sales tax, in our case 6%, to the sale of gas and diesel fuel. We didn't realize it, but when we voted for Proposal A many years ago to raise the sales tax from 4% to 6% and reduce our property taxes, we were voting to raise the price of gasoline and diesel fuel. Now, it's collected at the wholesale level, not at the gas station. So when the wholesale price of gas is, let's say, $2.50 a gallon, we're adding 15 cents to the price of gas. So Ohio added nine cents and are doing road improvements. We're adding 15 cents and getting no road improvements because none of that goes to the roads. The bulk of it goes to schools. One solution that was suggested to me is, well, let's just take the sales tax off of gas and replace it with a gas tax. And you have lots of more money to fix the roads. Nice idea would be good for the road agencies, but it's a real problem to the legislature because they would have to make up the loss to the schools. And they don't want to touch that. In fact, at this point, it looks like the legislature isn't interested in doing anything about funding roads for the time being. So, as you drive around, take a look at the roads you're using. That's the best they're going to be for some time. Well, I'm going to be back with the future videos like this, and I'll cover topics like roundabouts, Oakland County's traffic safety success story, and winter maintenance. What can you expect? Thanks for watching.